Hello joggers, this is day number three of week one. Last night we got about 20, 22 inches of snow. So that kept me home from work and will keep me home from the gym today. So I thought we would spend uh, this time talking about the very basics of weight loss. And so um, that's what we'll talk about. Basically, it's just a really simple math problem. The reason it's hard is this plan in the will of the participant trying to lose the weight. So, uh, some real basic concepts. This should be nothing new, especially I found that people who are, have been heavy for a long time have spent quite a bit of uh, energy and effort researching what it takes to lose weight, just that they don't have the discipline or the will to sustain a program that will help them lose the weight and their goal. Um, all that being said, it's still important to know the basics. So, uh, if you want to lose weight, uh, specifically fat, because you really don't want to lose muscle mass, but if you want to lose weight, you just need to uh, do more, burn more calories than you consume. You need a caloric deficit. And so um, some real basic uh, math foundations. Uh, one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. So if you uh, set up your diet and your exercise routine to uh, take in 3,500 calories less than you burn, you're going to lose one pound of fat over whatever time, a week in this example. Uh, so to know how much calories you burn naturally, because your body does burn a certain amount of calories on its own. I mean, there's a break-even point. And there are some formulas out there and uh, what is called a uh, basal metabolic rate. And a basal metabolic rate is basically the number of calories you would burn uh, given your age, your sex, your weight, and your height. Um, there's a formula that you can calculate how much, how many calories you would burn in a day if you just laid in bed all day and never got up. And uh, I'm going to put a link in uh, my pants down below to let you uh, to find one of those calculators. But I went to one just now and put in my height, uh, my weight, my age, and the sex. Hit calculate, and it's saying that my BMR or my basal metabolic rate is 2,864 calories. So if I stay in bed the rest of the day, looking out the window at the snow, uh, that's how many calories I'll consume. So um, now I need to figure out how to create a deficit. So I need to stay below that, that number. Uh, there's two ways. You can diet, and by dieting I mean just reducing the number of calories. Uh, and you can exercise to burn more calories than you normally would. So to do more activity than you would normally sitting in bed. Um, there's <clears throat> there's a number of ways to do it, but basically, like I said, the rule of thumb is you're you're shooting for if you're trying to lose two pounds, you need to have a 7,000 calorie per week deficit if you're trying to lose two pounds per week. So for me, my goal is an 1,800 calorie deficit, and so that 1,800 calorie deficit is 1,000 calories a day um, of loss. So if I can do 1,000 calories a day of loss for seven days. That's my 7,000 calories, and that's my two pounds. That's what I'm working on. But I know that I'm not always going to hit that. I'm not always going to eat clean. So to supplement that, I'm going to try, and I'm going to do uh, a regular workout routine, and that is the jogging. Jogging, uh, especially at the slow pace that I'm, I'm running at right now, is um, burning a, a pretty small number of calories. It's about, uh, at my weight, it's about 189 calories per mile. So for the first two weeks, um, I'm just shy of uh, following the, the routine strictly, the schedule strictly. I'm running eight-tenths of a mile, and then I try to, to close that gap and finish with, with two more laps to make it a, an even mile. So that's 2,000 calories, sorry, that's 200 calories, a little bit less actually, um, three days a week. And then in the off days, um, I'm going into the gym and trying to hit some of the uh, cardio machines to help me burn additional calories as well as doing some uh, light, uh, light weight lifting that sort of helps you maintain your body mass. See, the trouble here is <clears throat> when people say that they're going to you know, maintain a calorie deficit and they're going to lose two pounds a week, you're not really just losing two pounds of fat. I mean, that's what you think that you're doing, but in reality you're also burning a little bit of your lean muscle mass, which is not what you want to do. You want to maintain that because the higher proportion of 
of your of your lean muscle mass that you maintain, the higher your BMR is going to be, your actual BMR, not the one calculated simply by the formula. So the more muscles you have, the more calories it takes to keep those muscles maintained. You have to burn more to keep those muscles there. So that's uh, an important piece. So if you're not doing any kind of light weights or resistance training, I would encourage you to do that and make that part of your regular schedule. So I think that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Another thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, so the diet. So you've got the diet and the exercise. So if I were if I were perfectly on my schedule, I would maintain a thousand calorie deficit <clears throat> for this week, and um, my goal is to try to burn 500 calories each day in the gym, which I'm not doing right now, like I said, because I'm at the for the beginning stages of this jogging schedule, which isn't isn't burning enough. Um, but in the past, uh, like this time last year, I got in a pretty regular routine of jumping on the uh, stair stair mill, which if you're not familiar with that piece of equipment, it's basically a, a miniature uh, escalator. And so <clears throat> you put in all of your information, and the calculator on there tells me that I burn 500 calories an hour on that thing. So if I could do 500 calories an hour in the gym every day, and I could maintain 1,000 calories and diet every day. That's 1,500 calories a day times seven gets me to three pounds uh, per week of weight loss, which would exceed my goal. Really, all I'm looking for is two pounds a week sustained for a year to get me down 100 pounds. Um, that that's hard to do because things come up, life happens, snow falls, and you don't make it to the gym. Uh, an important thing to keep you on task and keep you motivated and help you develop that discipline is to journal your progress. Journal um, your eating and your exercise. And it doesn't have to be specific. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, I ate one carrot and four slices of cucumber. It could be, yes, I ate clean today. Uh, yes, I made it to the gym. I, I hit my 500 calorie goal or I hit my 200 calorie goal or whatever goal it is that you're trying to work towards. Because um, journaling will let you look back and, and let you know if you've made progress. And once you've, you've built up that initial buffer of progress, you're not going to want to jump off of the plan. You're going to want to stay to it so that you don't give up what you've worked for. And another good way for me is when I see something that I really, really want to put in my mouth because it feels good, food. So if I see something that's 500 calories and I'm thinking to myself, wow, if I eat this, it would taste really good. But to compensate for that really good pleasure right now, I'm going to have to bust my butt on that stair mill for another hour this week. Then that makes it all of a sudden not so appealing. So I'd encourage you to start a journal. I'd encourage you to uh, jump online. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. Um, figure out what your BMR is, what your body normally is going to burn. Try to set up a safe uh, calorie deficit with your diet, and then put some exercise in your routine to sort of kick boost it and help cover those gaps where you don't eat so clean, or you uh, eat something that you probably shouldn't have, but you, you know, don't let it, you know, stop your progress. It might push it off a little bit, but it doesn't need to completely end what you've been working towards. Um, tomorrow's a new day, so make it a good one.